Hello and thank you for watching. This is Allison. I'm here with a quick tip again on how to save your last bit of cookie dough to make an extra cookie. As you can see, this is very oddly shaped and that is not a square. So, I am taking the dough, keeping it, trying to keep it in its shape, but the best thing to do is to take it after you roll it out to keep it into a thickness then push it inside of the cookie cutter and just shift, sift it around a few times you would definitely have to repeat this step maybe two or three times you're gonna again roll the dough first so it's the thickness that you desire And of course it depends on the size of your cookie cutter and the size of the cookies that you want for your last cookie. This worked out perfectly for me. For my batch of chocolate fudge sugar cookie dough, I can get at least two dozen cookies. And it's so good. It tastes like you're eating a brownie as a cookie. Mm, yum, yum. But I digress for now. <laughs> so again, here you see me after I stuffed it inside the cookie cutter. I'm still using my rolling pin to roll it out. I'm almost there to smooth out the top and to kind of get the shape in. Again, place the dough inside of the cookie cutter, sift it around a bit, uh, push those edges in, girl, and then roll it out a few, um, a few more times. And then when you're done, you should be able to cut it. If you do this properly. Again, I don't like wasting dough. I could have just took the dough and just threw it in the oven and baked it and just ate it myself. But I wasn't trying to do that. I actually wanted to make an extra cookie for my clients. And it worked out so well. See that? We're just about there. And still want it to be perfect. If you're going to use a square like I am, then you want it to be a perfect square, like the shape. Okay. And yes, my recipe does not spread. Thank the Lord. This is my tried and true recipe from myself. No, I am not selling my recipe. If you're asking or thinking that right now, I am just not at that stage of my career. <laughs> to be selling my recipe. I'm just so afraid that if I start selling my recipes, the people buy it and then they will just share it with their friends and then they won't encourage them to buy it. Like, that's Shady McGrady. <laughs> Does anyone else think like that? That's just me, I don't know. I just don't want to sell my recipes right now. Our recipes will come to me until I get to a point where I'm like, okay, then I'll sell it or I may sell it to a company. But I'm telling y'all, my recipe is so good. There's no one has this recipe. I can tell you that for sure. There's a lot of great chocolate recipes out there. But mine is one of a kind. Again, I'm just flattening it to make sure that it's still uniform like the rest of the cookies. Okay. Mm-hmm. And once you press that cookie cutter down, almost there. I don't like to see any gaps. I try to get rid of as many gaps as possible. Okay. If it's a tiny, tiny air dot, once you press the cookie in, you will see that there's none there. And now it's time to cut it. You need to cut it. <laughs> Clean up those edges, okay, because the dough is really soft right now. And I did not throw it back in the freezer or the fridge to make it chill. Um, I, didn't, I don't really need to, even after I mix it. I just took it. And put it right in the oven. See that? Look at God. Yes. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Close up. Little cracks. But that's okay. 
you fill those cracks in after baking with your icing. You know how to do it. You know how to do it, girl. You know how. Okay, let's pick this cookie up. <laughs> Throw it in the oven. Bake it at your regular time. Bam. There you go. Nicely done. And look, here's a view of it with the rest of the cookies. Turned out just fine. This is a great tip. It helped me. I hope it helped you. If you think you can help another baker out there, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I have many other things on here besides just baking. Come and learn about me and my family. Love you guys. Peace and many blessings. And thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate your support from the bottom of my heart. God bless you all. Bye.